krijgen alvorens hun betrekking te aanvaarden in handen van de gouverneur de volgende eet verklaring en belofte af. Ik zweer verklaar dat ik middelijk nog onmiddellijk onder welke naam of wat voorwensel ook in verband met het verkrijgen van mijn benoeming als minister aan iemand wie hij ook zei iets hebben gegeven of beloofd nog zal geven. Ik zweer beloof dat ik om iets hoegenaamd in deze betrekking te doen of te laten van niemand hoegenaamd enige belofte of enige geschenk aannemen zal middelijk of onmiddellijk. Ik zweer beloof trouw aan de koning en aan het statuut voor het koninkrijk dat ik de staatsregeling van Sint Maarten steeds zal helpen onderhouden en het welzijn van Sint Maarten naar mijn vermogen zal voorstaan. So truly help me God, Almighty. Ik zweer 
beloond, dat ik de plichten die mijn aand mij oplegt, vertrouwen zal vervullen. So truly help me God Almighty. On February 26, 2018, the people of St. Martin went to the polls and elected a new group of parliamentarians, some of whom are here this morning. In doing so, creating the basis for the formation of a new government. Today, Four months later, we have before us a new Council of Ministers supported by a new UD SMCP majority in Parliament. During the four months formation period for this cabinet, I consulted with various persons. As a result of the consultations, I named and worked with informateurs, Mrs. Nilda Lynch Ardoin and Mr. Jan Bujon, who presented their findings to me on March 12, 2018. To both of you, I therefore express my thanks for your contribution to this process. Based on their findings, I named Mr. Theodore Heiliger as formateur to form this new government. The formateur, Mr. Heiliger, after securing a coalition agreement between the UD and SMCP factions in parliament, initiated the screening process for candidates on May 14, 2018, based on the regulations regulating the pre-screening of candidates before nomination. The screening was completed on Friday, June 15, 2018. And on June 22, Friday last, having addressed the outcome of the screening, Formateur Heiliger presented me with the candidate ministers, candidate minister plenipotentiary, and candidate deputy minister plenipotentiary, supported by a majority in parliament for appointment and swearing in. You have, as a result, just witnessed the transfer of executive responsibility for the governance of our country to a new team of ministers. To all who gave their input to the formation process, I hereby, also on behalf of the people of St. Martin, express my sincere gratitude. And in particular, I wish to thank Mr. Heiliger for his work and cooperation as formateur. Thank you. Prime Minister, ministers, today, four months since the February 26, 2018 election, and almost 10 months since the passing of Hurricane Irma, you have been given, given the full mandate to govern our beautiful island in difficult circumstances. Hurricane Irma and her aftermath have, as I have stated before, set our country back in no small way. And while we have made great strides in the past 10 months, we still have quite some work to do. Quite some work to meet the urgent challenge of rebuilding St. Martin. In that respect, I encourage you to take steps to meet the urgent needs of our people in terms of, among others, employment and housing. As you take your mandate, as you take up your mandate, I therefore hereby encourage you to do so from the perspective of opportunities. Opportunities. That is, 
by seizing opportunities to rebuild a sustainable St. Martin. I encourage you to do so because challenges weigh heavy on you, but opportunities gives you energy, and you're going to need energy. Prime Minister, ministers, the challenges we face today are and should be approached vigorously as opportunities for renewal and revitalization. Those are, among others, an opportunity to strengthen our hurricane resilience through improved building codes, an opportunity to deal with the landfill by implementing a sustainable waste management solution, an opportunity to restore our economic gateway, Princess Juliana International Airport, to its position as a premier regional gateway, an opportunity to restore, to secure the rebuilding of our hotels and restaurants, an opportunity to further upgrade our healthcare facilities and services, an opportunity to revitalize our capital and commercial center of Phillipsburg, an opportunity to further optimize relationships with the kingdom and work with the Netherlands and the World Bank to realize the NRRP, and an opportunity to reignite, to reignite the growth of our economy towards a sustainable recovery. To make use of these opportunities, it will be essential to conduct sound financial management based on fiscal discipline. And in doing so, seize the opportunity to rebuild a more sustainable St. Martin as envisaged by your governing program. Prime Minister, ministers, as you assume your mandate to govern this beautiful country, I trust that you, in keeping with your oath, will work to overcome our challenges by seizing, seizing these opportunities aimed at improving the well-being of our people. And in doing so, it is essential that you are always reminded, that you always remind yourselves that accepting the position of minister through the taking of the oath today is a solemn expression of your commitment to perform your duties with integrity. It is your pledge of allegiance to the King and the Kingdom Charter. It is your individual declaration to always uphold the Constitution of St. Martin. And it is your solemn affirmation to always dedicate yourselves to foster the well-being of the people of St. Martin. Through your oath, you have accepted the obligation to serve all the people of St. Martin. In that regard, there rests on you, individually as ministers and jointly as Council of Ministers, a great responsibility. Your decisions will have lasting influences on the lives of the people of St. Martin. Thus, as you deliberate on taking action on the matters before you during your governing period, I wish you wisdom individually and jointly in the conduct of your responsibilities as you seek to meet your constitutional responsibility to the people of St. Martin. With that in mind, I hereby congratulate the people of St. Martin with the installation of this new government and similarly congratulate each of you and your families with your appointment as Prime Minister, Ministers, Minister Plenipotentiary and Deputy Minister Plenipotentiary. Thank you, God bless you, and may God bless St. Martin and protect its coast. And please join us in a toast to rebuilding a sustainable St. Martin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheers.
Welcome to this first constituting meeting of today, June 25th, 2018. As is customary, I now give the word to the Prime Minister, the Honorable Leona Romeo Marlin. A pleasant good morning to one and all. Protocol has already been established. Welcome to this first constitution meeting. I hereby now turn the lectern over to His Excellency Eugene Holliday. Chair Lady of Parliament, Prime Minister, good morning. Distinguished guests, on February 26th, 2018, the people of St. Martin went to the polls and elected a new group of parliamentarians. And in doing so, creating the basis for the formation of a new government which today sits before you. Today, we are four months later since the February 26th election and almost 10 months since the passing of Hurricane Irma. This new council has been given the full mandate to govern our island in difficult, difficult circumstances. Hurricane Irma, as we will all agree, and her aftermath have set our country back in no small way. And while we have made great strides in the past 10 months, we still have a whole lot of work to do. A whole lot of work to meet the urgent challenge of rebuilding St. Martin. In that respect, during the swearing-in ceremony this morning, I encouraged the Council of Ministers sitting before you to take all steps to meet the urgent needs of our people in terms of, among others, employment and housing. And as they take up their mandate, I therefore urge them to do so from the perspective of opportunities. And in doing so, I also urge you to support them as they look forward and work towards creating those opportunities for the people of St. Martin. I say so, and I advise and invite them to do so, to seize the opportunities to rebuild a sustainable St. Martin. I encourage them, I encourage all of us to do so because, as I said earlier this morning, challenges weigh heavy but opportunities gives energy, and we are going to need a lot of energy going forward. In that respect, I advise the Council of Ministers, and I shall work with them going forward, that as we face the challenges that are before us, that they, that all of us should do so vigorously do so vigorously as opportunities for renewal and revitalization. And in that respect, I mentioned a number of opportunities before us. An opportunity to strengthen our hurricane resilience through improved building codes. An opportunity to deal with the landfill, which is on the minds of so much of us these days. An opportunity by implementing a sustainable waste management solution. An opportunity to restore our economic gateway, Princess Juliana International Airport, to its position as a premier regional gateway. An opportunity to secure the rebuilding of our hotels and restaurants. An opportunity to further upgrade our healthcare facilities and services an opportunity to revitalize our capital and commercial center, Phillipsburg. An opportunity 
to further optimize relationships within the kingdom and in doing so to work with the Netherlands and the World Bank to realize and implement the National Recovery and Resilience Plan and an opportunity to reignite the growth of our economy towards a sustainable recovery. To make, these, to make use of these opportunities, it will be essential to conduct sound financial management based on fiscal discipline. And in doing so, seize the opportunity to rebuild a more sustainable St. Martin as envisaged by the governing program of this government. Ministers, Prime Minister, as you assume your mandate to govern this beautiful country, <coughs> country, I trust that you, in keeping with your oath, will work to overcome our challenges by seizing these opportunities aimed at improving the well-being of our people. Through your oath, you have accepted the obligation to serve all the people of St. Martin. And with that in mind, I hereby congratulate the people of St. Martin with the installation of this new government and similarly congratulate each of you and your families with your appointments as Prime Minister, Ministers Plenipotentiary, and Deputy Minister Plenipotentiary. Thank you, God bless you, and may God bless St. Martin and protect its coast.